2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. You know, so many times as believers, we think that God is saying to us, I want you to do that. Well, yes, it's true. God speaks to us and God calls us. But the thing that we tend to forget so many times is that when God calls, he empowers. And how does he do that? Well, Jesus back in John chapter 17 said that he would, he told his disciples that he would have to leave so that the spirit would come. And you see, the Holy Spirit is ever present and he is very much a part of the Godhead, the Trinity. And so often we forget that when God calls us to do something, the Holy Spirit equips us. The Holy Spirit gives us things. And we forget about that. And that's why sometimes we tend to say, oh, I can't do that. Oh, there's no way I could ever make that happen. What, me? And we forget that when God calls us to do something, the Holy Spirit empowers. And this verse is saying to us today, that the spirit that God has given us gives us power, gives us love, and gives us self-discipline. Now, we get power. We love power. We love to be able to have the strength, right? And so God gives that, and that's a wonderful thing. But God also gives us love. Oh, yeah, that can be a little tougher, you know? Yeah, we can say that we love people, but do we really love them? The good news, again, is that the Spirit of God helps us to love others, even when they're not very lovable. And then, the thing that we tend to forget the most is that the Spirit helps us to become self-disciplined. What do I mean by that? Well, let me give you an example. When I was in elementary school, my mother wanted me to play the piano. Oh, she always talked about that. Oh, I want Andy to play the piano. I want Andy to play. I want him to be able to do that, to, just to be able to create that kind of musical environment. So guess what Andy did? Andy took piano lessons and Andy played the piano and Andy practiced and Andy went to piano lessons. But after about four years, you know what happened? Andy quit. And Andy quit because... I thought that I had to do all that by myself and I didn't realize that there's such a thing as a gift of playing the piano. You see, when you receive that gift from the Spirit, when you receive that gift from God, you can do amazing things. And God can even help us with our practicing and our self-discipline when we're feeling tired and worn out. The Spirit can help us. And so back then, I didn't understand that. I thought everybody could play the piano. I thought everybody would receive the gift of playing a musical instrument. But I realized that the Spirit gave me other gifts. And that's where I needed to put my attention and my time. And that's where God wanted me to become more self-disciplined. So remember, the next time that you feel the nudge of the Holy Spirit wanting you to do something for the kingdom, whether that's helping a friend, a neighbor, helping someone in the church family, or even encouraging someone that you don't even know. Remember, your answer shouldn't be, I can't, because it's not I, it's we. We can do it through the spirit that God has given us. Have a blessed day.